These theories will make you question everything. And remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. You can't watch this video and tell me that subliminal messaging is not real. The MSG sphere in Las Vegas just opened up and their first band was U2. And take a look at some of the messaging that flashed on screen while 18,600 attendants watched the concert. This type of subliminal messaging is a form of deception. Revelation 12, 9 tells us that Satan is the deceiver of the whole world. So make sure you have the full armor of God on at all times. You can't watch this. Whoa, that's, that's serious business right there. Did the band ever respond, release a statement, say anything, deny it? Cause I'm pretty sure they got wind of this. This, this, went, this went viral, right? This had to go viral. Something like that happening with all those fans there. I would suspect that went viral. Come on. So I want to know, did they respond or did they ignore it? Put out a statement or something to say what could have possibly happened? Just imagine you got your kid there with you. Or, or something like that. I'm not familiar with the band too much. Is that a kid-friendly band? Possibly. So if it is... Got your kid with you and these words are being flat. Yeah, I'd have been I'd have been highly upset. Highly, highly upset. You know what I mean? But some people probably didn't even notice it. You know what I mean? Some people, it probably happened and you subconsciously probably caught it, but you're so into the band, you might not have caught it. But for the ones who did, I bet they were hot, heated. The first thing I want to talk about is the crime scene. What's weird about it? The window that we're told he shot out of wasn't broken in the original body camera footage from the canine okay. handler. Okay. Right? That's a little important. It's a little bit important. Check this out. I do not have a broken window. Pay attention to that pillar there okay. and that curtain. We've got three children on the window that's not broken. It's us. 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 Alright, that is very important because there's only one pillar in the whole room that oh. would have a window to that side of it. Right. That would have that curtain. I looked. I, I did a lot of research to check and back back up what Mindy Robinson for sure says. The That's rent. for sure the window that I'm going to show you in this picture here. Okay. So there you can see it. There's the pillar, right? Yeah. The pillar on the left, the window on the right with the funky looking thing, right? Only window yeah. in the, that would look like this, according to every the, the rest of the layout of the room. Right. This is the window he was shooting out of. There's... <clears throat> the spent casings, the broken glass, and the hammer, that's not there. He's not crunching on glass. He's not slipping over spent casings. Right. And he's saying, specifically, this window is not broken. And... So wait, you mean to tell me we've been lied to? That's never happened before. Are y'all surprised? Because I'm pretty surprised. They wouldn't lie to us. Who? Our government? Nah. Nah, I'm being facetious. Y'all know that, right? Sarcastic, right? <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. What do you mean? The window wasn't broken. Like, how does that even, how is that possible? Glass there on the floor and on the carpet next to the casings, hammer there, but no broken window. I don't even know how that's even possible. See, this, this stuff right here, this is the stuff that'll have you going down the rabbit hole. Stuff like that. Because it's going to answer, you'll have more questions, and you look up more videos, and it's going to take you to a place, and then you're going to have that awakening. All right, that's how it happens, bro. That's how most people get started down this path. You know what they do in Vegas? Like when I was there, yeah, because obviously... Any hotel you get is going to be in a casino, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hotel, I've heard, I've yeah. heard, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how, like... But I had the Vegas hotels are cheap, so that you spend more Bro, in, the, in the casino. You're getting, like, a yeah, four, well, five-star hotel, mad cheap. Yeah, I heard. Because once you're in there... You're enticing them. You're well, enticing you go in there, yeah. You go in there, there's no windows. They pump AC, like, oh, air through the ventilation, so you just feel you're awake, you're buzzing. Yeah, yeah, Don't matter yeah, if it's 3 a.m., 6 a.m., you're buzzing, you're awake. It's 24 hours, there's always something going on, and then it's like, there's no clocks. 
That's they don't put clocks on the walls or anything. Yeah. So there's physically no way of you seeing. There's no windows. So you can't see yet. night. You can't see daylight. So people are just getting... I've seen people where we've come out of our hotel, gone dinner, whatever. As we're going home, the bread's still sitting on the same spot. Yeah, yeah it's scary. Looking Wallahi. stressed. Wallahi. Looking stressed, bro. Like, I, like, I want to I wanna go like just... No more there. Yeah. You know what they do in Vegas? Like when I, was I would love for them, and they may have some already out. So if they do, y'all let me know, man, so I can go check out. Y'all put me on to a wait, and I'm supposed to watch that movie tonight with the family. Um, but I would love for them to do like a documentary, like a really, really good documentary slash movie. It could be a movie on like the gamblings that people do where they like lose everything in Vegas how just out of nowhere, you know what I mean? It just sucks them in. They can't control it. And before they know it, everything is gone. I want to hear the stories. You know what I mean? I, I've seen the videos. I've seen little TikTok videos where somebody's laying in the hallway crying, screaming how, what happened? Oh my gosh, I can't go home. All my money is gone. My rent money, my bill money, all everything is gone. Like, I've seen those things, bro, and they are chilling. They're spine chilling. But I want to hear the stories of how a person got to that place. You know what I mean? I've been to casinos before. I've never been to Vegas. It's on my list to go. But I've never been to Vegas. And just like he said, everything is strategically placed. The sounds, the colors, the ATM machines, the people walking around giving you massages while you're sitting there gambling. Food is in close proximity. Hotel rooms there as well. Gift shops. Everything is there so you don't have far to go. I went to the Hard Rock in Tampa. Stayed there for a week. You know what I mean? And just to see that, hear those bells, those sounds, or it sounds like somebody's winning. All that stuff is strategic. If you don't think that stuff is strategic, you out of your mind. You know what I mean? But I didn't think about the cold being pumped into the room so you're constantly buzzing and awake. You know, we had windows in our room. We had a great view. We had a great view in our room. So I didn't ex experience the, you know, no, no windows in the rooms. And the rooms weren't cheap when I went to Tampa. Like I said, that's Tampa, though. That's not Vegas. So. Uh, that may be a whole nother animal in beast. Vegas may be. So y'all let me know your Vegas stories in the comment section. Accidentally finding Area 51 while flying from Las Vegas to LA. Accidentally. Accidentally finding Area 51 while flying from Las Vegas. So let me ask y'all, does Area 51 have a no-fly zone? I, I keep hearing people say there's a no-fly zone over Area 51. Is that true? Can anybody confirm or deny or anything like that when it comes to Area 51? People just keep saying it. It's either a no-fly zone or you can't fly that close or, or something like that. Okay, so I've watched these messages and they haven't repeated. It is fun. To walk. Carelessly. In uh. In a death. Death zone. zone. What? What the hell does that even mean, folks? I've been watching these messages over and over again. They're just different. They have not repeated. I don't know if they're safe, they're, you know, something, somebody said it one time, or what, but they seem a little grim, especially for a casino to have this on the outside, well, where I'm at right now, people would read this if they were sitting here waiting for a ride. Okay, so Where's my holy water? I'd be throwing holy water? Ah! Ah, ah, I be throwing holy water at that. I rebuke you, Satan. Stay away from thee, me. Like, damn, ain't no way I read that. After that, I need to read a scripture or something, man. I need to go. I need to talk to somebody. Somebody need to pray over me or something. What in the world kind of 
sick message is that? It's fun to to walk carelessly. What did it say? To walk carelessly through the death zone? What does that even mean? It's fun to walk through. No, no. I rebuke, rebuke. Well, during the Las Vegas shooting, Steven Paddock supposedly expended over 3,000 rounds of ammunition over the course of 10 minutes from 27 AR-15s with bump stocks, despite the fact that it would have required him to drop a gun after each 30-round magazine was empty, even though videos from survivors showed that it was a non-stop stream of ammunition with a firing rate much higher than a bump stock is capable of producing from multiple locations that appear to be M240 LMDs. More interesting is the fact that after the FBI took over the investigation, his house somehow burned down, with all the evidence and photos of the hotel room he shot from only showing 50 spent cells. Years later, we still have no motivation and there was strangely no follow-up on the biggest mass shooting in U.S. history. Most confusing is the day after his brother had numerous press conference interviews where he claimed it made no sense, he was arrested for possessing several hundred terabytes of CP on a 20-year-old computer running Windows 95, at least according to the photos taken by the FBI. Well, during the Las Vegas shooting, Steve- Oh, this is deep. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? I, I never knew about all of this going on surrounding that shooting, man. Like, when, whenever you hear that type of stuff, man, and you hear that people had to endure and go through that, and the ones that survived will be dealing with that for the rest of their lives, you know what I mean? I never was one to go digging deep, but I see I should have. Like, whoa. Like, I need to go back through it because he was reading pretty fast. So I didn't I know I didn't catch everything, but just some of the information that I did catch. That don't seem a bit suspicious and odd to you. That that. That's a little bit odd, bro. There's probably some like Reddit thread or um, YouTube video that that really goes in depth with this stuff. I'm gonna have to check it out. Put some links in the comment section for me. There we go. Look at that, folks. The spear is hot. Wow, that's just incredible. Look at that. Hello, world. How long is the spear show for? They've never done it before. Wow. This is a first. This is the first, folks. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> that gives me some weird vibes. Is it just me? Is it just me? Like, you know all the conversation and talks we've been having? We've been having a lot of talks about AI, robots, quantum theory, and all that type of stuff, physics, whatever it's called, quantum physics. But we've talked about the, the brain the brain computer that controls everything. Don't that give you that type of vibes? Like that's what that could be? That one brain uh, computer that controls everything, including the robots, and eventually thinks for itself, outsmarts human, takes over control, and eventually humanity ceases to exist. That's the kind of vibes that gives me, you know what I mean? Not no Project Blue Beam or anything like that, you know? That looks totally different. That's along the lines of like CERN or something like that. That, yeah, that, 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 that scares me. I believe this is what they've been warning us about. It's coming up. You're going to see it. I'm not looking at it. These are blue lights. I hear people talk about them. They say they're... They're crazy. These are blue lights. Look at, look at that. That looks crazy. Oh my gosh. 
That looks crazy. This is a regular light. This is their light. Wow, that looks crazy. I mean, literally you driving up and it's like violet. I mean, why though? I don't understand. You could see the blue coming up. It's on the ground. I believe this is what they've been warning us about. It's coming up. You're going to see it. I'm not looking at it. These are blue lights. I hear people. See, and we, we could possibly think nothing of that. You know what I mean? But we also had conversations and talks about them tapping into or trying to control our brains or tapping into our minds with different things. What's an easier way to do that? Something we wouldn't suspect or think about. You wouldn't think or suspect a light, a street light, being able to tap into some kind of way. I'm just saying, not to say that that's even the case. I'm just saying that could be a possibility. Why just random blue lights in a city? Has it been like that for years? Then okay, but what does that even mean? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the days of me just wondrously walking around and not having a care or a clue or a question about things, it's over with. That's over for me. No, I'm questioning everything. I'm questioning everything. Y'all could say that could be, that can make you crazy or whatever. Would you rather question everything or not question anything and not know what's going on and just be surprised at something that happens or transpires one day? Yeah, the days of that for me is over with. I'm questioning. Lights, <laughs> road, it doesn't. Trees, bugs, birds that look like they could be drones. Yeah, all that type of stuff. I'm questioning. Here are my Vegas conspiracy theories and hot takes. Number one, the pyramid, the light that comes out of the pyramid from the Luxor, I believe that um, whoever built it had to get permission from the ETs. My other working theory is that um, the ETs actually instructed them to put the light there, like maybe Galactic Federation, I don't know, I'm still working on it, still figuring it out. But I feel like since the light is like visible from outer space, that's what they say, it's affecting other people, not just us, therefore they had to get some type of, you know, permission, agreement, whatever. I'm rushing because my boyfriend's rushing me. Number two, we're all familiar with the idea of like casino coolers, right? Like the people with their energy is just like so bad, so atrocious. Where like if someone's on a winning streak, they send them around to like cool the table off, right? And to be honest, that's a theory too. Like that's, I don't think that's been confirmed. Although there is a movie about it. I haven't seen it. Okay, so I feel like it's even deeper than that. There's a helicopter. They're on to me. They're on to me. I don't think it stops at coolers. I feel like they consult with psychics and people who have really profound spiritual gifts, right? Because if it were me, if it were my casino, I would need to counteract all the remote viewers out there, which means I would need remote viewers on my team. You know what I'm saying? Like opposition. And I'm not saying these are full-time employees who just like watch the cameras. No, I think they consult with them. I don't know. I'm still working on the details. You like just, just stick with me. You know, when you astral project and you go somewhere you're not supposed to be, how a lot of people have reported that they will bump into other like security guards like astral security guards who are like what are you doing so i feel like it's the same thing like if you're remote viewing or doing something like you shouldn't be doing i think you're going to meet the ops or they'll just maybe you won't meet them they'll just escort you out the casino boot you obviously i think this happens at a high level so like don't get in my comments and be like i was a dealer for 10 years i think that you know the dealers and people like that are just not you know clued in because why would they need to be I have to go but stay tuned because i feel like i'm gonna come up with some more here are my vegas conspiracy all right listen listen i have my own conspiracy theories about casinos and different things like that i look at the casino kind of like i look at the stock market you know what i mean you put your money in there long enough it's gonna get taken like you have to have some level of discipline. You know, if you're gonna play with a hundred dollars that day and you go there, they're they're banking on you saying, Oh man, I was close. Let me go get another hundred out of the ATM. Man, let me get another hundred or a thousand dollars this time. You know what I mean? And also it's like I said, man, it's they have a system and they know that. The odds are more so in the house's favor than the actual person playing. The odds are stacked against us that are going there. That's why you should be very, very disciplined. 
sit the amount you're gonna use to the side once it's gone if it's gone then that's it and you have to stick to that but the drinks be flowing some casinos the drinks are free they're counting on you you know what i mean having a good time and overextending yourself because they make it feel so much like a party atmosphere that you're going to get very loose and you're going to make bad decisions. Simple and plain, man. I, I, I think we overcomplicate it. I think their strategies in some situations are a little complex, but for the most part, they're probably very, very simple and rudimentary. And we just can't understand that. If there's one thing that I can't handle, it's satanic subliminal messaging. You two, the band just performed at this thing called The Sphere in Las Vegas. And concert goers are saying that they felt hypnotized after watching a ton of evil conspiracy subliminal messaging that you two showed on the big screen in The Sphere. Let's roll the clip. I can't play the music but we've already checked this out and i was asking y'all what did y'all think i wanted to know what the people said and she just said some people felt left their feeling that way so i don't know man just seeing these words pop up like that why wouldn't you think this isn't some type of subliminal message why have you ever heard of the Las Vegas mole people? Recently, when you told me about it. So the Las Vegas mole people are homeless people who live in the currently 500 miles of unmapped sewer yeah. system underneath the hotels in Las Vegas. There's like a whole society under there and everything. There I've is a society. Is. There yes, is I've heard of this. I've heard of this laws and it's rumored that once you go down far enough they have their own languages what there's people who live down there who have never seen the light of day if they're yeah. living sweet enough down there i might want to <laughs> inhabit the main thing that you got to worry about down there is getting shanked also the darkness so you just need night vision goggles and chain mail and you're you need good night vision goggles <laughs> chain mail and strobe flash now, I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. You living in, in darkness is not good for you. We all remember that lady who lived in that cave for however long and she was going delirious, lost all track of time. So I don't think that's that's pretty smart. I don't think that's safe. A bunch of people you don't know, whatever type of rodents or animals that could come through there at any given moment, gases or anything else that could get down there like you you would need to literally have a monitor a four gas monitor strapped to you to let you know if you're not breathing something in that's detrimental to your health like i, I don't see any good of living down there you know what i mean and at the same time your safety of anybody trying to rob you attack you you know what i mean no no i, I don't i don't know and is that true anybody know whether or not this is true I looked at the news stuff, the body cam footage of the police showing up to the family's house, and yeah, I do think based off of the family's reaction that they saw something weird. Do I think it was little green men walking around in their backyard and teleporting off or whatever before the police suddenly got there? No. No, that didn't happen. The reason being, because there is, again, no evidence that there was anything there. I don't deny that these people had an experience of some sort that they can't explain, but that doesn't just mean that it's aliens just because they said it was aliens. Mass hysteria is very much still a thing. So my response to the family that supposedly saw little green men walking around in their backyard with a UFO to boot is uh, the same that it would be for believers in Christianity. I don't believe you. Prove it. I don't believe you until you can prove it. I looked at the news stuff, the body cam footage. Now, I don't have a problem with him saying he doesn't believe, prove it. You know what I mean? But you can't say that they didn't see what they saw. You know what I mean? You can't, you just can't rule it out. That's the problem. Everyone just says, okay, prove it. How are they going to prove it? But did you not also see a cop roll up and say the same thing that they saw something as well? So, so now that cop is lying too. 
and then go throughout history. All of these people. So every one of these people that have came out and had some type of story interaction or anything with UFOs or UAPs or alien, whatever you want to call them, every single person is lying. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not saying that some didn't lie, but I'm, you asked me to believe every single person, highly decorated pilots and all this type of stuff and things they've seen, witnessed. That, that's the part that bothers me, man. All I ask you to do is just remain open. Just don't dismiss it. Listen, y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you thought about these theories. And stick around and stay tuned. Till next time I'm gone. Peace.